mal parido, ¿qué es que estás haciendo? Damn. Whoever that made this, you sure do deserve a promotion. No need to thank me. I mean, serial number EXP DATE 04 stroke 02 stroke 2019. The best lolly I've ever tested, bro. Wait a minute. Welcome to the Goat Matata Diaries. It's the 6th of November 2018. Exactly 72 hours since I nearly failed the No Poop November challenge. Who the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. I'm at home, not chilled, but rather trying to process the trauma that came with my incapability to hold on to poop. What are you saying? So as I'm there, seated, trying to digest uh, the fact that uh, I was unable to hold on to poop when it was barely three days. Ew, ew, ew. Then all of a sudden, something starts ringing. I checked to confirm whether it was my alarm that was actually trying to wake me up. But then it hit me. I'm a broke ass chocolate monkey with no alarm at all. So I continued checking. Then all of a sudden it hit me. It was actually my phone that was actually ringing. Someone was trying to call me. I'm not understand. Well, I guess at this point you must be there wondering why on earth would I not recognize my very own ringtone? Why? 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 Before I continue, one point to note about me is that I'm among the category of people who could stay up to four days. That's an average of about 96 hours without receiving, leave alone expecting, any phone calls. Bye bye me! So when my phone rang, it came as a surprise to me because I barely get phone calls. So I picked up the phone before it automatically hanged up. And to my surprise, it was actually my crush Candy that was trying to call me. And she was like, Boy! Why the hell are you taking so goddamn long to pick up the goddamn phone? I mean, are you trying to avoid me or something? And I'm like, First of all, don't be calling here like you some straight up G, because I'll cut your balls off and hand them to you, partner. Can we get serious now? And I'm like, chill, girl. I mean, you don't have to act all extra just because I've uh, taken a little longer to receive the phone. You know very well I don't uh, get phone calls normally. And she's like, okay, never mind. I was actually trying to call you so that uh, I asked if you are free. My nigga. <laughs> so that you can come over to my place. Damn! Let's pause a little bit. You see, for some reason, I actually felt like uh, she was actually fooling around with me. Because a while back, I made one mistake when I got horny and it changed my life ever. She had actually invited me over to her place 
because uh, no one was actually at home. So I get to her place and no one indeed was at home. What? Not even herself. Wow, 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 wow. Hypothetically speaking, when uh, a girl invites you over to her place because no one is actually at home, it actually means that uh, she's all home alone. Or the simple fact that uh, her parents are actually absent. So when I go to her place and uh, no one was actually at home, I was so goddamn pissed. I was so pissed to the extent that I was... Uh, when I want to explain it, my head will be t headache me. You see, when I'm pissed, my brain kind of gets confused on whether I'm actually a human or a chicken. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. So on that particular day when I uh, was at the doorstep, preparing to turn back towards the gate, I started making the... And no sooner had I turned than I met up with my worst fears. An angry chicken. What kind of shit is that? You see, at some point I actually think that that chicken was actually having anger management issues. It seems that it thought that I had actually one of its cheeks. Several bad puns later. 